Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to TGC. My name's Sam and as always, I'll be joined by 80 for today's video. Today we're going to be showing you guys four simple tips to save on materials and how to stop overbuilding in Fortnite. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Coming in at number four, we have not gliding away every time something goes wrong. So many players that we come across will start a build fight, and as soon as they lose the high ground or a lot of health, they'll instantly glide away. This is a really bad habit to have and will make you burn through tons of materials extremely fast. If you ever lose high ground, simply turtling up will cost you little materials and will potentially give you enough time to heal or reset the fight. Turtling is going to make you harder to find amongst tons of builds inside of a build fight and will also make your enemy come to you allowing you to reset. If you instantly glide away when something goes wrong, you're leaving yourself vulnerable to fire that you actually can't avoid. Also, if they follow you, it's going to reset the build fight and make you waste tons of materials all over again. Now gliding away can have its benefits when outrunning the storm or avoiding third party situations. But learning to work from inside your builds and learning how to reset fights will help you save on so many materials. Coming in at number three, we have not reinforcing your ramps all the time. Now we've all been trained to ramp rush with really supported builds, but with glider redeploy being added, this is becoming more and more situational. Most of the time you'd want to reinforce your ramps because someone would third party and shoot them out. But now people are shooting down structures way less and supporting your ramps is not nearly as important. Of course, every situation is different and if someone is spamming you while you're building up, you'll definitely want to support your builds. But whenever you ramp up to use a launch pad or to start a build fight, remember that saving your materials can be more beneficial than supporting your builds. This tip is definitely situational, but ever since we stopped supporting every ramp rush, we find ourselves saving on tons of materials. Coming in at number two, we have not building up every time you get shot at. Every time we shoot at a decent player, they instantly build up four or five stories thinking that this will make them safe. Unfortunately, this is the fastest way to burn through materials and the least efficient strategy when trying to heal up. Fortnite has so many mobility items like grapplers, launch pads, balloons, that height almost means nothing when trying to heal in a fight. Instead, you want to tunnel instead of towering. Tunneling is when you make a few one by ones all next to each other. This allows you to hide really well, place traps, and have the editing advantage when someone tries to push you. Not only this, but tunneling takes less materials and draws less attention than a tower does. So if you're someone who tries to build up really high whenever you get weak, try tunneling instead. You'll save on more materials and be much safer. Finally, coming in at number one, we have not being afraid to fight from the low ground. Now this is one of the most effective but simple tips that can save you on tons of materials. So many players are obsessed with the idea that having the high ground will make you win the fight, but this couldn't be further from the truth. If you're confident in your building and editing abilities, fighting someone from the low ground shouldn't feel like a disadvantage. If you immediately take the low ground position, it's going to stop the build fight from happening altogether. Most people will be overly aggressive, thinking that you're inexperienced by doing this, and this will cause them to play sloppy. This allows you to stop build fights before they ever happen, allowing you to save on your materials and also have plenty to pick up after the fight. Anyway guys, it's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to never miss a Fortnite video or live stream. If you want to stay up to date with us, our Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and Twitch are in the description. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.